Hello and welcome to Patrick's Models and Transport. So, <clears throat> um, I've been thinking about the, the topic, the topic of the month, let's say, the whole month of January in the English-speaking uh, model train universe, in particular, in particular, UK, Ireland, uh, Commonwealth countries and so on. Because the British retailers, <coughs> Hattons, has decided to close. So, of course, I live in Italy, in the, on the European continent. I'm not affected by the closure of Hattons. But this news, which was maybe even slightly surprising even for myself, um, because I'd heard from many other YouTubers mentioning Hattons and had a look at their website once and so on. Uh, of course, I never, I've never purchased anything, anything from Hattons because I live in Italy, first of all. It wouldn't be convenient with exchange rates. There's Brexit nowadays, which is a problem, and so forth, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so, the whole point is the closure of Hattons and... The fact that the big Worley model train exhibition, the club that organised it has decided to no longer, no longer organise it, which is also a very interesting event. I've never been there, of course, because I live very far away, and uh, and I often don't usually frequent much these kind of things, even here. It has led to this big debate on what's going to happen to the model train hobby. And gloom and doom, oh my, it's going to die out, you know, because one of the reasons for Hatton's closure is, uh, of course, rising costs, the, all the import duties with Brexit, uh, and also demographic changes in the, in the enthusiasts, in the, in the people that... that that have and enjoy the hobby of model trains. Of course, we don't live forever. That's the sad reality. No, uh, we all age, and, and so and etc. And so things change. And the truth is that young people are not really entering the hobby, or maybe we don't know, we don't realize, we have no idea. So. I'm not going to go into all the details because this has been debated by other YouTubers, but considering I'm also a model train enthusiast and I'm also interested in other other sectors of you know the modeling uh, hobby, so like kits uh, and refurbishing uh, diecast cars and so on. Um, but I think I'd like to, for what I've managed to observe in many many years. Of being interested in model trains even if I had a very long break because I had a very long break nearly 30 year break no over 30 years break in actually practicing the hobby and uh, I think that maybe we could we could sort of go see a few of my ideas on what's happening mainly focusing on what's happening on the European continent, specifically Italy. In Italy, I live in Italy, so this is there. But I can have an idea also about France, Germany, Austria, because they're neighbouring countries. So, first of all, I agree with other enthusiasts, uh, uh, like, for example, Arcadia Model Railways, I have his opinion, also uh, locomotion and motion. These are two of the channels that I follow that more or less they have the same ideas on this topic. Yes, uh, things on one side, models are much too expensive because from the toy train we turned into the model train. The models has been spiraling costs. I've said so in various videos of mine saying that the, the prices are not are, are, have not reached the sky. They're orbiting, but not around the Earth. They're orbiting around Mars or somewhere, or they've created their own little solar system. And, uh, for example, I'm just having a look at a few change glasses, because otherwise I can't see the computer screen. 
some prices I'm having a look in this case here at a retailer in the north of the province of Padova and uh, I'm having a quick look at some sets we're talking about model train sets for models we're not talking about entry level Honda Railroad kind of stuff uh, here's a Fleischmann start at this is N between me here's a Fleischmann Rocco Rocco starter set with one chanting locomotive steam locomotive and two two carriages and a level crossing and a controller EDC 169.90 it's not bad because it's we also have uh, rails of course it's sold out oops but so such things do exist but we're talking about models we're talking about uh, so starter set it's a class 80 locomotive with a short two carriage um, passenger train I'm just trying to look at some things just to have an idea of prices we're talking about a small tank engine in this case here this is of course these the cheap things are all sold out everything sold out here's another Merklin Merklin of course is more expensive 299 euros you get what you get for a Merklin you get tank locomotive three goods wagons one's a, one's a tanker wagon a coal wagon and a flatbed in DC and uh, 12 uh, an, an, an oval of rails made up of 12 sections 299 of course there's Merklin you're buying a Rolls Royce of model trains so let's see what else so is there something by Lima among these starter sets I'm just having a look I'm, here's a trick it's an N we have but we'll move away we'll have a look at uh, let's see here locomotives brand brand let's look up these ones don't sell Lima by the look of it they don't sell Lima they don't sell Hornby it's just an idea to have a look at the I'm looking at the Lima website right now this is Lima the Italian Lima website I'm going on Aquista which is purchase trains and sets uh, sets what do we have uh, in the sets they only sell the sort of Father Christmas uh, Hornby double O scale a lot of sale for that here you know for 91 95 euros with the 040 pocket rocket locomotive antique these are real toy trains I mean, these are toy trains so we can say what we want about them this is a kind of toy train that you could buy for kids let's see what we get but pity it's in double o it's not in ho so these kind of start sets which are available on the lima website are the hornby ones in double o no use if you live here where everything is standard is usually HO no use at all so is Hornby producing a starter set as Lima let's have a look uh, probably there is there's a, the ho Lima hobby line does it still exist does it exist does it not exist let's see I'm trying to keep this short because then I want to get to the point I'm just this is just a sort of Lima hobby Lima hobby what have we got here here's a place in a catalogue I'm looking at another retailer so this is uh, locomotives we have a carriage for 30 if we do make a comparison with what the prices were like in the 80s yes we can translate it in Italian lira in the 80s things were expensive huh? but oh here's uh in fact everything cheap is not is not available refrigerator two axle refrigerator interfrigo wagon 12 euros in this case here sold out what else could it have been let's see what else there is locomotives I'm just having a quick look here at locomotives haha -ha, here come the prices 
Here comes uh, Acme. Acme. Acme is an Italian manufacturer. Uh, Italian State Railways FS E656 10 nano. 299 euros. VAT included. 299 euros. Okay, you'll have the you know VCC decoder sound, all the bells and whistles, no? So this is it. If you're wanting to buy a, a decent model locomotive, you're around the 200, 300 euro mark. And the manufacturers are not making the cheap stuff because they say there's no market because kids are interested in bleeping around on their mobile phones all the time. And, you know, video games and all the rest of it. Okay, this is true. There are also kids that are interested in model trains or in model making or radio controlled cars or you name it. But it's just a matter of introducing children to the hobby. So I'm going to focus in this chat, which is already at 11 minutes, so we'll try and keep it short. I'm going to focus on bringing new, 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 new people to this hobby. So it's expensive. It's too expensive. It takes up space. And most of us haven't got the space. I'm the first person that does not have space. And, but how, how can a kid, if nowadays, nowadays uh, it's rare to buy somebody a model train, train set, just a simple train set with a loop of track and a locomotive and three, four carriages for a Christmas present or for a birthday present. This doesn't really happen, no, or it's more rare. I mean, I don't have kids of my own. I've not got children. I'm a grown up kid. <laughs> so... That's more than enough, no? But the whole point is, are such things available? New? Is there a toy shop where you can actually go and see? I always like to look through the toy departments or maybe pop into a toy shop and have a look. A lot of rubbish, which comes from a big, big country in the Far East. Mm, toys are not really very well detailed. Uh, it's not exciting anymore. There aren't the kind of things that enthused me as a kid. But even if it was a toy car or a toy lorry, it looked like the real thing. It was the real thing you'd see in the street. And this is just sort of this sort of regression, because people are in, kids are interested in all the things related to digital computers, bleeping away, a million different cartoon channels. When I was a kid, the cartoons were on at a certain time of the day. Here in the 80s, we started getting private television in Italy, and so there were more children's programs with cartoons, but you, you didn't have a cartoon channel. You weren't watching, you weren't sitting in front of the goggle box all day, getting completely stupefied, because that's what it's all about, sitting watching the television all day. I'm talking like an old fogey now. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't watch TV. I don't like TV. I find it a waste of time, a total waste of time. I haven't been... I stopped watching TV at the beginning of 2021 because it was just a collection of doom and gloom. We know why. No, so I stopped. I just stopped. I cut TV. That's it. End of story. And <clears throat> so, apart from my opinions on television, which I think television is extinct. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Okay. And uh, back to children and the hobby. The hobby itself, the model railway hobby, now, in reality, has its advantage by YouTube, and this I agree with other YouTubers, because you can have ideas, you can see things, you can learn how to repair, how to service locomotives, and when you are, when that moment when you're passing, you know, you're around 12, 13, 14, you start, you, you stop playing, and you want to understand how things work. And so you'll be, go hands-on repairing things and fixing things. But you'll do this if you've been playing with the stuff beforehand. If you've never touched a model train or you've never had access, you won't, you're not going to do it. It won't happen. That's it. It's not just that all of a sudden you'll say, oh, that's nice. I saw a train video. Maybe seeing a video you might actually be, you know, curiosity. I don't know. Now this is, I'm just, I'm just, thinking how somebody's brain might work at that age nowadays in 2024. So what's another another um, 
source of new of new followers on the hobby. The clubs. Let's talk about the Lord the Railway Clubs. So I don't really frequent but I'm I know one club a very nice one in Mestre, mainland Venice. Their uh, their premises are in an old World War One hospital carriage, uh, coupled to a, a, an old tank locomotive. Very very nice, uh, uh, very very nice uh, club. Nice people. I've seen model railway clubs. You know, over the last year in my town, there was an interesting model exhibition with all types of models from kits, etc., etc. And there was even this nice layout which I had a look at. And there was one of the people from the club. Somebody was saying, ah, but have you also got steam engines running on it? And the bloke from the club said, ah, no, but we're mainly running, they were running some contemporary ENU, something deadly boring. And, uh, okay, I like steam trains, so for me, and, and a contemporary ENU is deadly boring. And he says, no, because the children came this morning and they want to see colourful things. Who told you, you genius of a model railway enthusiast of the, I don't remember which model railway club it was, that kids want to see colourful things. Kids might want to see what they don't see on the railway. You know, Padova is a big railway junction, north, south, east, west, you always see trains and you'll see the contemporary stuff. But who told you You know, genie from the bottle. <laughs> train enthusiasts sitting there running the trains with the DCC and all the bells and whistles. The kids want to see the colourful things. The kids want to see, might want to see what they don't usually see. Also, because in Italy, how often do you see a steam train? But not full of model of, excuse me, um, uh, you know, heritage railways like in the UK. But you can actually go and see something. Maybe not that far away from where you live. I mean, when I'm, when I, my base in the UK, in Scotland, was Glasgow, I could have gone to Bowness. I used to go with my uncle to see trains. And, or else there'd be the specials running, you'd go with a car, see, I don't know, Black Five thundering down the main line and something of the kind. These things are also organised in Italy. There's Fondazione FS, which runs historical trains, but you have to know when they are. They're not, they're, you can't just say, oh, what we do this weekend? Let's go and see some steam trains. It's not like that. So, kids, when a, you, generally, a kid, when he thinks of a train, he thinks of a steam train. He, she, thinks of a steam train. That's the sort of imagery. You see the pictures, you see the, maybe a cartoon, you see something and you think of it. They don't think of an ENU in the sort of pinkish colour of the ENUs of the line that goes up to Trento. They don't think of an ENU. They don't. So, even the people of the clubs, use your brains, switch your brains on. If you want to attract kids to this kind of hobby, show them the stuff and tell them a story and make things simple because there's another problem, another problem in this hobby. That there are lots of very nice people, people that will stay and talk and they understand that maybe you don't have much money, you're going second hand, you're just staying DC for various reasons because it's easier, and you might want to go into DCC. But there are many people that get on their hobby horse. They are the great masters of the science, you know, the great, uh, and this is very typical in Italy, Italians, in, the, in, in many ways, I'm also Italian, so I am in a position to criticize Italians. I'm half Italian and half Scottish, so I can criticize both because I'm and I'm I go two halves. Okay, Italians tend to make they they often there is a sort of specimen that turns into the prince, the great leader. Well, actually, we've been in for great leaders even historically, no, and and then they like to, you know, get on the pulpit and preach. No, maybe it's also because it's a Catholic country, no? <laughs> they like to preach. And so, no, you have to do like this, like that, but no, this is wrong. And so there's this sort of attitude that, and this is completely wrong. This makes, especially young people, do a runner. Why should I go to a club where I'll get some old fogey wagging his finger and tell me, looking over the top of his glasses, 
No, that's not right, you know, that's absolutely wrong. You have to do like this because this is how because you have to have everything in scale because moon 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 that's the kind exactly that's exactly the stuff that puts people off. Myself included. I don't frequent any of these clubs because I would just get the scunner. That was it, that's it. I just get the scunner as soon as I hear them open their mouths and say, Right, oh cheerio, goodbye or something Maybe a little bit, a little bit more colourful than Italian, which I'm not going to repeat right now. <laughs> so this is a problem. The problem is that people, manufacturers, are no longer making things like the Pico BR64, nice, sturdy, simple, bulletproof locomotive. That even if it tips, even if it tips over on the layout, bits and pieces are not going to fall out. You can fix it with basic tools. You can, it can be an absolute wreck and you can get it back on, back on the rails and make it work and it will stimulate your imagination. Another second thing, they don't know how to introduce kids. Kids are full of imagination. I've got two nephews, one's five and one is eight months old, okay? So I'm talking about the five-year-old. He's full of imagination. So when you're fantasy and imagination when you're a kid you don't need the sound you don't need to have a sound simulator on the on, on on the locomotive that makes all the buzzing and whirring and hissing and whatever because you do it in your brain you don't even need to have everything perfect because you imagine i used to put for christmas that was my treat at christmas i used to have access between christmas new year or the christmas holidays after christmas day the big dining room table at my when I was living with my, 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 my family. And it's a round table, and if you pull it out with a central part and it was oval, and I'd get to put up my train. So my my Lima train was on the table. There was no ballast, there was nothing, maybe the odd building. But in my eyes of a kid, there was towns and ballast and trees and everything. I had some small one eighty seven, you know, H O Viking cars and people there was everything there because my imagination was making me see everything the same as I was playing with toy cars on a carpet so let's think model trains is about imagination it's about fantasy it's about stimulating your and then your imagination will, will let you build and modify and change things we don't need to have everything ready out of the box and and we don't need some teachery guy that comes there and wags his finger, looking over his reading glasses and saying, no, no, absolutely not. Or you might be interested, for example, I'm interested in buses and trains and all forms of transport. And maybe you mention something, you mention bus. And then they say, it's as if you go to church and you say a big nasty swear word as soon as you go in the door. A big nasty oaf. Because you've mentioned the bus to... The rivet counting train enthusiasts, the the extremist, the integralist of trains, you mentioned them a bus. This happened to me on one occasion. There's some people they asked yeah, by the way, so and so and he's also in a bus association. The guy I was talking to that that told me I'll come and see, he sort of looked through me. So I made a sarcastic remark and said, I've got better things to do, I'm going to watch some paint drying. This was in Italy, so it was in Italian, no? But this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to only follow one part of a, of a reality because there are trains, there are buses, there's everything. And on your own layout, you can put what you want. And this is another thing. And I'll, that's it, and I'll cap it because we're at 24 minutes of blah, blah, rant, rant, rant. The other thing is, if you begin doing things in the hobby, the model train hobby, on your own layout, you, it's your layout, it's your little imaginary world. You create it the way you want, because you are the creator of that world. So, you want to have steam locomotives running together with electric ones, German ones, French ones, Italian ones, all around them, like on my layout, is your little railway world. You are the, the, the controller, like, you know, in Thomas the Tank Engine, you decide, you provide. And that's it. And why should people come saying, we have to do period one, period two, period three? 
which is just no it's not correct because no but that's not correct or we have to have a certain height of grass or static grass and then after you find out in a discussion that if you were to scale the static grass it would be as tall as a man's shoulders no 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 grass is that height unless really it's a savanna or something of the kind you're going to get you know lions jumping out when you're there taking pictures of trains along the railway <laughs> <laughs> and such and so sort of, and, and such you know so what's the point of spoiling what is supposed to be a, a hobby a pleasure by rules and telling you you have to do like that you mustn't do like this it's nonsense it's just nonsense that's it as far as i and that will finish i'll finish off this story as far as i'm concerned if the model railway community continues going in the way it's going meaning but all the bells and whistles gadgetry and all the rest of it soaring prices it'll die out sooner or later but at the same time it won't because second hand trains rails and everything are really accessible whether it's ebay or vinted for example here in the european continent very good platform so you'll always be able to access cheap stuff and fix it up and enjoy the hobby and really enjoy and play trains and that's that's the secret if you want model trains to continue and to flourish as a hobby we have to play trains not get on a hobby horse on stand on a pedestal and wag our fingers that's what i think i'd like to know your opinion on this and uh, I don't think I've insulted anybody, so it's, uh, it's, uh, um, that's it. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, you can give it a like. It's not really interesting, just me chatting, this bloke with a reading glasses, looking over them and wagging his finger. And uh, <laughs> give, us a, give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification button. And that's me. Cheerio, good night, buonanotte, ciao.